Hi, I'm Seamless. I'm pretty sure I'm recording. I am recording. Good. This is the 40K tutorial plus six. This one was requested by Captain ZXY, which hurt my brain to say just now. Um, this one, I already forget the name of the song. Coy uh, Acid Wolf Pack by Coyote Kisses. I believe I got that order correctly. The original will be in the link. But anyway, this is what it sounds like. That's how familiar to you. Uh, this is a pretty common chord based combo. Um, a lot of what I've done here is kind of interchangeable with a lot of stuff. The core of it, however, is sort of how I accomplished the organy kind of bit with uh, Harmer. So, um, essentially, what happens here is that I'm using the harmonizer. If I don't have the harmonizer on, this is what it sounds like. It's already pretty chordy, chord tastic, but it's not quite, you know, what's up. And I have the filter on, but if I turn the filter all the way up, just sounds like some saw waves being in a chord. If I bring the filter back down, let's look at, let's, I want to look at what the harmonizer actually does for a second. Uh, let's bring the filter way down. Let's make a keyboard track. It's probably a good, a good plan. Now let's look what happens when I turn the, the, the harmonizer up. Essentially what it's doing is that it's, tramp, it's transposing octaves. And that's kind of how an organ sort of sounds the way it does is that when you play a note, you're playing one note, but you're playing a whole bunch of uh, octave-based harmonics. They're kind of har hanging around there. And so when, that's sort of the, you know, how you get that sound. And the, the harmonizer, by default, is set up to harmonize octaves. But what the harmonizer does is not just that it plays higher octaves. What it does is that it actually takes harmonic content from the lower octaves and then pastes it in the higher uh, harmonic area. Uh, with this in mind, if we go to the advanced tab, where we have the unit order. We can tell you know, what order we want to have things. By default, the harmonizer is in front of the filter, which means that the, the filter itself is actually filtering the harmonized content. But if I, if I put the harmonizer after the filter, that means it's copying the harmonic activity that is post-filter, because the filter, remember, is an additive process in the case of Harmer. Which has a very interesting effect in a lot of different things, but for this particular example, it, it makes it pretty easy to control your organ-tastic sound. And then distort it. And you have you can set you know you kind of move that around the taste. I'm using unison in here, but what really what I'm doing is I'm using just using that to create high frequency kind of uh, messy activity. Um, the, uh, the low end, the the unison is stable, which means that the, the lower notes are going to be not, you know, not doing that. That's the point. That's the purpose of that particular endeavor. Experiment with various, uh, you know, how high you play these things, just because if at first it doesn't sound right, it's probably because it's not in the right register. Now, the other half of this is that there's a bass beneath it. Now, this kind of bass is pretty common, in them, but the kind of bass, what I mean is that what it is, it's a sound that is, it's a, it's again, like a sort of a phasey content uh static in, in a way it's not really moving very much but it sort of has that almost guitar-ish esque amount of like harmonic activity and distortion lots of ways to deal with that but the way i like to do it with uh, citrus is to kind of create a very messy fm profile and then modulate a sine wave so that's what i did here i went into operator 2 turned it into a triangle wave and then just add a bunch of harmonics randomly and they came into here and said ran uh, randomized phases which it did here it's just, it did all the phases and uh doing that creates essentially this mess that I made. I did this for uh, operator one and two, and then also operator three and four with a different set of harmonics and a different set of randomized phases, just so I can kind of add them together to have a bit, a bit of a character. Um, and then I also piled in a uh, separate saw wave just to give a little bit of teeth back to the, uh, the sound itself, and also bass, just because all that, all that FM kind of takes away the sine wave, sine wave profile of the original sound. Um, however, I did also want to use unison, but I did want to dilute the saw wave coming out of this. So I turned on unison, but, uh, all the parameters are off except for volume. 
and I'm that's because what I'm doing is I'm going into pitch and I'm controlling the pitch difference and the phase difference manually for all the sounds. And I just realized now that I just controlled the phase difference for the modulating operator, which interestingly had an effect. That was weird. And um, it's actually cool as hell. I'm going to mess with that later for something totally unrelated. But uh, essentially, I'm manually creating the unison profile with, with the pitch and phase on per oscillator, which is what this unison index mapping tab is for. It lets you set the whatever parameter value uh, per voice. In this case, there's two voices. So that means that there's one voice here and one voice here. If there were three voices, there'd be a voice here. And if there were four voices, it would actually make two new poles for you to snap to to represent the value for that parameter per that voice. But because I'm doing two voices, it's particularly straightforward. So that's, and then having done that, if I go to the saw wave, you see that there are no changes for any of the voices. So that means that the saw wave is just static A saw wave, despite there being global unison, which I turned off for some reason, and despite uh, there being unison on these two guys. And that's essentially the difference the unison makes. That adds a little bit of movement. I like there being. Um, I also put in a chorus before the distortion to kind of give it. A very light amount of extra sort of uh, movement to the sound as well, just because I felt it messed better with the sound itself. High pass the uh, chords. This, I mean, I made some EQing adjustments just on the sounds based on the tone, but like none of that's going to matter when you actually try to use this in the track because you're going to have to change all of this to fit whatever tone your track has. So this is mostly just their suggestions. Yeah, so if you'd like to make a request, uh, the Reddit thread is linked in the description of this video. I'm doing four more of these and until 50k, but that'll be a different thread. And um, what the hell else? If you want, I mean, this 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 FLP will be available to download in the description as well. And also the original, so you can kind of see where I was coming from, will be also in the link to the description. If you have any questions about any of this, let me know. And as usual, have a nice day.